Hello and welcome to another season of Game On I Am Slash Raptor, and this is Ratchet Deadlocked, remastered for the PlayStation 3. This is nothing like the actual Dread Zone show. Like, you would never just run into an exterminator like that. has now eliminated a record 13 contestants in the regular season. <laughs> why are these cutscenes in 4x3? If the game has been remastered, why aren't the cutscenes in 16x9? Incoming call from the mayor of Metropolis. The <clears throat> new mayor of Metropolis. No. Oh. You mean... Oh, yeah, it's that chick from Up Your Arsenal. Just a sec. Uh, greetings, Mayor. I... No, no, no. Um, well, long time no see. Uh, no. Uh, so, Metropolis still in one piece, huh? <laughs> I... Greetings, Captain. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well, she need a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you know, Captain Starshield disappeared over a month ago. I've just been informed that he's been killed. Oh my gosh. No. I miss Bill. Whatever happened to him? Apparently he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport. Something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man. Gleeman Vox. He operates an underground media empire from within the Shadow Sector. The Shadow Sector? It's a lawless region of space on the fringe of the galaxy. Many other heroes have disappeared recently, and we fear that they might have met with the same fate. Ratchet, I just wanted to warn you before... Unidentified craft approaching. Uh-oh. Are you the Lombax known as Ratchet? Um, I don't suppose you guys are here to fix the starboard engine, huh? Yeah, this, uh, this HD remastery is pretty good, but it's actually got quite a few glitches in it, both, um, obvious and subtle that I'm gonna point out as we go. What the hell is that thing on his desk? It's so ugly. Excellent. Bring him in. Give him collars, and see if you can get some work out of them first. It's like a... it's like a rabbit with no arms. Hello? Hello in there? Can you hear me? You've been unconscious for hours. You're probably a little disoriented. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Whoops. It uh, looks like we've got a feedback loop in the visual matrix processor. Hold still a second. How's that? Okay, now to activate your speech function. Me out of this thing, you blarg headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my... I, 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 there seems to be a problem with the speech circuitry. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at it later. Now hold still. Let's just see if I wire that teleportation circuitry right. The new armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. Contestants? We will explain later. If you do not complete the qualification course in the allotted time, we will all be terminated. Okay, before we start, I just want to see if I can make the controls and change them from the inverted setting. Wait. Well, no, I, I can't even select the control options? First, look over at the hollow target on your left. Oh, okay, well, they're not inverted anyway, so never mind then. Then fire. Good. Now shoot the hollow target above you. All right, Ratchet. Your movement circuit should be in working order now. Try getting to the top of that ladder. I don't know, guys. That's going to be really hard. But for the sake of humanity, I must try. Oh god, I made it! I am 
transmitting a digital mini map representation of the area. Can you? Oh yes, I can. Mini map will show you the positions of nearby enemies. I am reading three more hollow targets in your vicinity. But there's only one left. You gotta get. You gotta get with the times, there, Clank. I'm I'm killing him faster than you can give them to me. Teleporter nearby that will take you to the next stage of the qualification course. Oh boy! Oh boy! Next stage! Next stage! Oh, here's a good glitch. Check this out. Vox has a hair lip in this part. It's really creepy. That's unsettling. I don't think he's supposed to have his gum showing on the outside of his mouth. You are now a contestant on the greatest television program that Galaxy has ever known. A celebrity gladiator battling for the pleasure of a billion screaming fans across the Shadow Sector and beyond. Chances are you'll be dead by tomorrow. But those of you who play the game with skill and strategy will earn a chance to win your freedom. So, good luck, hero. We'll be watching you. <laughs> See, I think the cutscenes look a lot better when they're widescreen and when they use the same engines as the main game. I have figured out a way to get it. Oops! Sorry, Clank, I interrupted you because I had to change weapons. I forgot that if you press triangle, it shuts him up. As you destroy enemies, you gain experience. When the bar is full, you will gain a level, and your nanotech will increase. Sounds simple enough. Let's do this. I got a magma cannon, and I'm not afraid to use it. Give me some enemies to shoot with it. Ask, and ye shall receive. Aw, oh, yeah. It's been a long time since i played this. I gotta get back into the... I gotta get back into this. Ow, ow, guys! Guys, didn't you just... did you just hear me? I'm, I'm new at this. I haven't played this game in a while. You can't cut me a little slack? Okay, well, at least his hair lip's gone now. This color cannot be broken or removed. Should you stray into any restricted area, the collar will administer an extremely painful shock. Observe. I hate this job. Should a contestant become uncooperative or worse, boring, <laughs> his or her collar can be detonated at any time with the push of a. Push. I love this. <laughs> Nothing to lose your head over. <laughs> right? <laughs> Congratulations, Ratchet. You made it through the qualification course. You bet your ass I did. There should be a teleporter nearby. Use the teleporter to meet me back at our Dread Zone containment area. Okay, I'll be right there, Clank. <laughs> oh, my legs are falling asleep. Oh, I gotta move them. Oh, ah -ha. This place is crazy. Oh. I've always wondered what it'd be like to be a professional gladiator. I mean, these guys have the <laughs> life, the fame, the money, the babes. Try not to forget that we are being held prisoner by a criminal organization. This is no time for fantasizing. We don't have to fantasize, because it's actually happening. Ratchet, you should go find Al. I have marked his location on your map. I think he has something to show you. Okay, but if he starts taking his pants off, I'm gone. That's where I draw the line. Let's go see what this is all about. Oh, that's right. I remember this part now. The battle bots. Hey, Ratchet. <laughs> I have something to show you. Meet your new battle bots. Call me Merc. This here's Green. Uh, hi, sir. I got them off a former contestant who uh, won't be needing them anymore. Don't worry, boss. You won't end up like that last guy. I hope not. I still have nightmares about it. Oh, suck it up, Green. Once you win a few battles, we can afford to upgrade them. Just come and see me whenever you want to juice them up. I love the battle bots. <laughs> They're funny. <laughs> and they just look really cool. <laughs> you know, seen combat. Me? Yeah, before I came here, I saw a little action. Hey, nice digs. Um, digs? I mean, what's all the hardware for? Ah, they call this the mission control room. Each contestant is assigned a mission engineer to monitor their progress. Right. So, what's his face? Figured he'd save a few bolts and make you do it. Ahem. Uh, All right, fresh meat. Enough chit chat. 
You're next up in the Battle Dome after Mobius, man. And from the way he's fighting, it won't be much longer. Now move it! Ratchet, I will assist you any way I can. Thanks, Clank. These guys obviously don't know who they're messing with. You'll also notice that during the widescreen cutscenes like that one, there's these there's this little kind of a twitch almost, and like everything seems to Attention jerk a little hero. bit, very subtly. Report to the Battle Dome transport shuttle immediately. Failure to comply will result in termination. Greetings. See here, watch Ratchet's Ratchet. ears. We thank you for choosing Vox Airways for your traveling needs. We do hope you have a pleasant flight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our in-flight entertainment, courtesy of the Vox Network. Oh, that's right. Now I remember. They're making fun of Fox. It's the Vox. It's Fox Network. Vox Network. Yeah, see, I get it now. The hell is that? Will you lose your lunch if you have to watch one more reality dating show? Is your blog's gone wild video scratched from overuse? Then it's time to turn that dial to something a little... No more dangerous. Time for some real action. It's time to blow it up! That's right, it's time for Dread Zone, the galaxy's number one uncensored, unethical, and completely underground combat sport. Blasting straight at you, live from the Battle Dome! And now, on pay-per-view, Watch as Ratchet and Clank take on Ace Hardlight and the Exterminators! They save the galaxy three times over, but how long can they survive in the zone? Catch it live, right here, on Vox. Oh, and that is it for Mobius Man! There, that was a big twitch right there. The Eviscerator's fourth victim already this season! Next up, we have, uh, let me see here, Ratchet? Yeah, I never heard of him. Well, he's probably just intermission material, folks, but don't worry, we have Grey, Thunder, and Hydra. There was a big one there, too. Later, so stay tuned to Dread Zone. And another Twitch, and another Twitch. Well, here he is. <laughs> he's a little guy, isn't he? Well, don't bother getting up for drinks, folks. This guy won't last two rounds. Whoa, big one. That was a creepy. I don't think we were supposed to see the inside of Ratchet's face. Threat Zone fans, this is it. Let's introduce our first contestant. He's a Lombax. He spent time in prison. He hates candy and children. Let's hear it for Ratchet and Team Darkstar. Team Darkstar? What the hell kind of name is that? That's lame. Uh oh. Whoops. I guess I didn't oh, calibrate right. that bot correctly. Go ahead and press the down directional button to initiate the auto repair sequence. You can do this anytime a bot becomes too damaged to continue. I like how no matter what you do, there is always going to be one of your bots that goes down right there. That always happens because it's programmed to happen so that Al can tell you how to bring him back. You can press the down directional button at any time to make your bots regroup to your position. But they're always following me. Why would I need them to regroup if they're always following me? Some features in games I just don't understand that usefulness of, or even why it's in a game at all. Oh yeah, let's jump these platforms. There's more stuff to shoot. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go. Bang, 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 all y'all, line up, I'm gonna shoot all of you. I'm gonna shoot you all, and I'm gonna get all this, all this beautiful bolts coming right at me. Drop ships! I hate drop ships. I like to try blowing them up, like that. But I'm running low on ammo on my dual vipers, and I just fell into the, what, whatever that stuff is. Oh look, some health. I don't know what that stuff is. I don't think it's water, but it doesn't look like it's deep enough that it would warrant actually doing any damage to you. It looks like if you were to slip into it, you should be able to just step right out of it again. But I'm pretty sure that's not water. I don't think I want to know what it is. I'm 
but did I teleport away because I touched that liquid or because I felt because I, I left the arena or both I don't know yeah yeah let's sh shoot stuff let's shoot stuff yeah yeah I'm winning I think I think I'm winning I'm also running out of ammo again okay I need more ammo if somebody can give me some ammo that'd be great I had no ammo. Please leave me alone. I don't have any ammo. Ow. I said leave me alone. I don't have any ammo. I'm going to go over here and get some ammo and then you can attack me. Okay, now I'm good. There. I shot you. And now you're dead. Okay, guys, stand back. I got this. I like how it says you have to, you have to rotate the analog stick, but you don't really have to rotate it. You can just hold it in any direction and it'll, and it'll do this automatically. In the original Ratchet and Clank game, you actually did need to rotate it, and I really like that. It was it made it feel more intuitive, but they took that out in the later games, and it's still out in this part. My scanner show an extremely deadly 70 millimeter stalker turret ahead of you. You need to get behind cover immediately. Got it. The shields on that EMP guys, use an EMP. You will have to use an EMP to take them down. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can finish this guy off. Magma cannon, magma cannon, magma cannon, magma cannon. Yeah! Excellent work, Ratchet. Now that you have survived the qualification course, Green metal? Oh, boy! I won! Okay, uh, when you get, guys, when you get a chance, I won, so I've got some people that I'd like to thank, if that's okay. Oh, yeah, Catacrumb 4, unlocked. Let's keep this quick, Box. Oh. Well, far be it for me to keep the Superstar Exterminator from his busy social schedule. I just have one question for you. Okay, shoot. Would you like to buy an Ace Hard Light video game? How about an Ace Hard Light lunchbox? Action figures? Movie rights? Collectible trading cards? Ace Hard Light is the perfectly manufactured celebrity, straight from the presses of the Gleeman Vox Media Empire. So tell me, why is it that I can't give this stuff away? Well, uh... Don't answer that. Let me take a wild guess. It's because my fans can't stand Ace Hardlight! He's a pompous with the charisma of bloggy and Nazis! So, what are you saying, exactly? Sip it, Wonder Boy! The little billies and Susies of the world are spending a trillion volts a day on worthless swag! And I'm completely cut out of the market! Either you start selling this junk, or I'll find someone who will! Now get out of my sight! Ratchet, you need... Clank, what were you saying before you were rudely interrupted? Nah, let's, let's wait on the acid mod. We've got dread challenges to do. It's kind of annoying that they don't automatically let you do them. You have to go back into the Battle Dome and then do it that way. Okay, so I think we've got two Dread Zone challenges to do this time. Let's see what we have here. Grist for the mill. Let's do it. Round one Ladies of ten. Let's make some noise. It's time to kill or be killed in the Ooh, a skill point. Ratchet must survive on a relentless attack from wave after wave of lethal enemies. Another skill point. I'm getting skill points out the wazoo here. Is there a skill point for getting a bunch of skill points really fast? Because that'd be kind of cool. Can I just point out that I love this music? Do 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 do. Do 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 I like the way the arena kind of gradually transforms as you switch between rounds. 
Oh, whoa. We're in, we're in round seven already? That took, like, no time at all. Oh, round eight now. Wow, this is a really easy one. Round nine. Oh, yeah. We got this. We got this. They can't stop me. Round ten of ten. And that's it. Challenge complete. Nope, not quite 100 kills. Let's keep track of how many missions we can complete where we actually acquire 100 or more kills. It's time to get Starting from now, not, not before. Wait, so this is basically the same challenge I just did, except now there's an invisible gas that's slowly draining some of my health away. Alright, whatever. We're already on round three. It's not going to take very long. Oh, no. Take, make that round four. Oh yeah, Magma Cannon, level up. Fox has designed his weapons to gain experience as you use them, which allows them to be upgraded. Upgraded weapons not only do more damage, but can be modified. You know, sometimes I think I could have taken that job on Annihilation Nation. They've got a great dental plan. <laughs> oh, he's looking a little unsteady. Some gladiators just can't handle their gas. That's one glitch that I'm noticing in this one. Maybe it's not a glitch so much as just something that doesn't seem to work quite right. Is that throughout the game, the two commentators, Dallas and Juanita, are supposed to be, you know, commentating on a regular basis. And they have a bunch of one-liners and they have a bunch of things they like to say. Like, they'll, they'll do the... Sometimes I think I should have taken that job at Annihilation Nation. And they'll do, uh, if Ratchet was a tough cookie, what kind of cookie would he be? I'm gonna go with Snickerdoodle. And they'll do things like... What I want to know is, how does Ratchet use the bathroom in that suit? But in this version, I don't hear them do that very much at all. Oh, there's one. We got 117 in this one. That's one. I mean, they still do it occasionally, but it, it seems like all they're able to say on a regular basis is what they're programmed to say in the individual missions, as opposed to just having random commentary. But anyway, folks, that's about it for this episode of Game On. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you right back here in the very near future, where we will continue to play Ratchet Deadlocked. But until next time, peace out, and as always, Game On!